Hey YouTube, it is the last week to try and hit Legend this season, so it's Master League Open and a Catch Cup. So Catch Cup is a 1500 CP, which is Great League. Only Pokemon caught during the season have hidden gems are eligible, and Mythical Pokemon are not eligible. So there's two ways you can search. Um, the exact days I'm not too sure about. I did one with eight, the one I did 80 was a few days ago, and 83 I did a couple yeah two days ago I guess at this point. So I think it's probably around like 83, 84, right? So if you want to just look at all the Pokemon um, under 1500 CP, uh, you just go age 0 to 83 or 84, or whatever, how many days it's been. Um, you can just check between the start of the season, sub through, what was the start of the season? Like June, July? No, June 1st to whenever this is going to go, August 24th. Right, so it's how many? I think it's like 84, 85 days. So you go age 0 to 85 and CP minus 1500. That will give you the Pokemon 1500 CP and lower. And then that will just show you all the Pokemon. If you're like, I don't want to build anything up, I just want to use what I have, what you can do is go age 0 to whatever 83 and the and sign, um, the exclamation sign at three moves. So basically, it's going to it's gonna take away everything that is not, uh, doesn't have three moves, aka. Pokemon that you have not already double moved. So these are the Pokemon that in the last 80 days I have double moved. Um, you can put, I mean, you can put filters on to take out the little, I mean, the little and the 20 and the Ultra League one, but yeah, like I have eight. <laughs> I have eight. So goodbye to the two of them. So I have six. I have six Pokemon that I have double moved uh, already Greninja double, Quagsire, uh, Haxorus, the, Mult the Glare Moltres, and the Ludicolo. Um, so those are the ones I have built up. So maybe I'm going to use, so before I actually get into the rankings, cause the rankings are just great league. So I'm going to go over great league rankings quickly. And this, and the four teams that I use to actually grind, um, grind the season towards legend, which I have hit for the 14th straight season. If you are new to this channel, um, uh, is it worth building a Pokemon for this meta? Uh, so the, the thing is like, here's the thing. Have you hit legend? Yes or no? If you hit legend, do you want to hit leaderboard? If the answer is no, I don't think it's worth building anything up considering there's uh, potential, not potential. They're, they said there's going to be a move update. They said there's going to be a move update. They promised it would be big. Who knows what that means? So it's kind of worth not investing in um, at this point if you've already hit legend. If you have not hit legend and you're close, and by close I mean like within 250 like 2750 and above, maybe even 2700 above, and you really want to hit Legend, you can invest in Pokemon that, for the most part, will not change in the ranking. So there has been, again, I've been playing GBL since the first season. There have been very, very, very few updates that made a Pokemon um, from like top meta to absolutely useless. The, the closest that, it, that has happened is nerfing poison fang on ninaqueen it went from like a top 10 pokemon to like an 80 to 90 pokemon so a little bit with trevenant this year you can still use trevenant in a great league but like that c bomb nerf really hurt trevenant this year um so there are pokemon that you could theoretically build up that they may nerf next year that would um kind of be lost one but for the most part like uh, like i'm looking on the screen greninja double uh quagsire like these are the three, those three in particular are ones that are like, they're probably, even if they get somewhat nerfed next year, like they nerf Hydro Cannon or whatever, like those three are still pretty going to be meta next year. So if you have like a Metachamp or Lantern, Rocked Owl or Registeel, like all these Pokemon, some of those Pokemon do have potential to be nerfed. I went over that in my video yesterday, or yeah, yesterday. I went over like how Lantern and Metachamp like could use a nerf and so same with Reggie, but like even if they get nerfed, I don't think they'll just fall off the face of the earth. So they still may be worth building up if you have a good Pokemon that can be carried over into later seasons. Um, if you're building just for the sake of building, I don't I don't know if I would do that. Again, it's up to you. There are, during the last week of the season, this is when um, I think it's the, both the easiest and the hardest to grind to Legend. Because obviously you have the time pressure, but at the same time you will have Legends throwing games to you. So if you're in that 2900, 2800, 2900 range and you run into a legend, like not all legends will throw to you because like, so there's sometimes like I'm playing and I need, <laughs> I need uh battles for a video. So I need to try hard. But then there's other times where I'm like, oh, I've, I've already got the one win to get the dust. I don't really care about the rest. Let's just throw 
to legends to almost legends so um, it's up to you whether you want to invest in resources if you're going to invest here's the top 20 list there it's going to be open great league and last year again there's no real there's no rankings for catch cup uh, but basically over this this season there has been almost every single thing available at some time um, maybe not every single thing on this list uh, but almost positive almost everything everything on this list has been available at some time so it's your normal it's your car bank your reggie your going stun fisk your swampert Pelipper, Metachamp, Polyrath, Lick Tongue, Scrafty, Sableye, Quagsire, Double, Wall Rain, Whiskash, Machamp, Altaria, Bastion, and Lantern. And number 21 is Noctowl. Right? And you can mix and match. I've already got over, I'll go over the four teams that I have here because these are the four teams I've actually used to, to run. Um, but you can safely mix and match like three of these 21 Pokemon and do fine. Um, I've used Swampert Sableye Core a ton. You just cover like a like a Altaria weakness with something else. So actually, I think one of my teams, one of my legend teams. Actually, let's just start because I think one of my grinding my first grinding team is Swampert Altaria. So yeah, Swampert Sableye Registeel. Um, I love this core. Swampert is just super super spammy. How you're, like again, you're only weak to Grass. You cover your Grass weakness with and Altaria weakness with Registeel, a steel that will deal with all the grass. And Sableye is just safe swap, Sableye is a little gray safe swap. Um, the Owl is gonna be a bit tough for the Sableye Swampert, but you have Registeel for that. Uh, fighter for, again, Fighter for Registeel. Sableye does, Swampert does fine against Metacham. You have Sableye to beat the fighters. Uh, just a super, super balanced team. This team is super meta, super strong. I've grinded tons of, like, I'm. this team wasn't, I, I hit Legend in Ultra League, but, this team got me pretty much to legend. It was a super, super strong team, very meta. Um, again, just you don't need to reinvent the wheel here. I do have some somewhat off teams. Um, Metacham, again, Metacham is just one of the most broken Pokemon in this meta. You have your bulky, even against, I, I went over my video yesterday. If you get one counter advantage on Sableye, you can get two ice, you can level foul playing at two ice punches off and take it down to like 20 something. So your this team is double weak to Sableye, because you're you're double weak to Ghost here, right? You're double weak to Ghost with Metacham and Frostlass. There's not a ton of Ghost in this meta. There is Sableye as your main as your toughest one, but again, you can you can kind of work through it. For, there is Trevenant, but it's not around much at all anymore, um, and you're not seeing that much like Cofagrigus because it can get walled by like a normal typing or dark. So double as your normal typing sort of safe swap in the back a counter user so double counter users in the back double or metacham are both safe swaps and frost is pretty good again frost is one of also one of the main weaknesses can be rock uh, so having two counter users in the back for rock is strong uh speaking about trevenant i use this i use trevenant because i needed something to balance out tokidamaru which i love using it is one of my favorite pokemon to be using the last couple seasons it's very tricky to use if you want to use it go watch my video on how to use it uh because it can give you very 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 tricky to use because you can just get walled very quickly with the like ground type pokemon you can get lit up by counter users um so it and it's very 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 glossy so go watch that video if you want to use it but basically this is an sort of an abb not a true abb but you're trying to draw out like a fighter or something with wall rain punish it with trevenant and then Togedam ruins free uh, you will have your toughest answers your toughest pokemon to go against our ground, like Swampert for Togedamaru, or Swampert, um, Diggersby, stuff like that, which, again, Diggersby is not really around. It's mostly just Swampert and Quagsire and stuff like that, which Walrein and Trevenant can deal with there. So it's a pretty balanced team with like Walrein as a safe swap. And then the last one, um, again, this is just a balanced team. I use Machamp. You can use Metachamp. Again, Metachamp is probably better, but Machamp as, as a shadow is very, very strong. Uh, Cress as your sort of safe swap, bulky safe swap. Quagsire is Swampert light, <laughs> essentially. Swampert with better, Swampert with better flyer coverage, essentially, because you have um, the Stone Edge to deal with the flyers that you don't get with Swampert. Yet you'll still do well against like the main things you, that you would do well against with Swampert, like Lantern and stuff like that. And then Cress is a safe swap. Main Cress is your sort of main answer to Metacham. Quagsire does okay against Metachamp, but Crest is sort of your main answer to Metachamp team. So that is the four that you can use to try and grind towards Legend. 
Um, but like I said, just mix and match. I didn't even go over. You, I've seen the Noctowl Lantern core multiple times this season. Noctowl, Lantern, Metajam. That's a team. That's a team that you can use that's strong. I'll, same thing. Replace Altaria. Re replace Noctowl with Altaria. Same sort of thing. You, I mean, you can't really truly do that because then you're doubling to Fairy, so that's a little trickier. That's why most people just run Noctowl Lantern core. Lick Tongue, I think, is back as a great safe swap. So if you want to use Lick Tongue in, in place of like Sableye as a safe swap, you can do that. Um, Pelipper, Pelipper, I think, is a bit overrated for being number six on this for this list because it's very bait dependent on the uh, baiting a weather ball, landing a hurricane in a few of these matches. So I think it kind of gives a, a little bit of a fake jump there. Um, but it's an option there. Polyrath, I think the sh again Shadow. If you have again, if you have Metachamp, I don't think there's a reason to run Polyrath. Um, and yeah, Whiskash is a poor man's Quagsire. In my opinion, again, that one is also very bait dependent, like baiting Mud Bomb, Landing Blizzard, some of the time. Bastion, if you don't have Carbink, Bastion again, you can get very very walled by like a Fighter, Metacham, or Swampert and stuff like that. But you can also just wall flyers and stuff. So that one is you know what kind you kind of get there. And Lantern is just super 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 strong. Um, again, one of the most broken Pokemon in the game. Just how little grass there is, and how hard hitting surf is and how fast you get to it with spark uh, so that those are the teams those are some suggestions that's my thoughts on whether you should actually build these pokemon up or not again if you're close to legend um i think probably building during this week to to try and hit it is probably worth it just because of the last kind of awkward week where some people tank and some people just will throw it to you um and then yeah, stay tuned for a move update next season, which we are promised. Anyways, good luck. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for uh, Pokemon that you need to focus on for Global Go Fest. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.